A new professor, you lowered this. Ah, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, hey, don't talk, don't talk. Hey, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hello, how are you, teacher? Doing good, guys. It's been an amazing day. What about you? Oh my god, very exhausting. Yeah. But I'm here. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your commitment, guys. And um, I don't know if I share this expression with you that when I say, Welcome to my life is because I share the same you share, right? Did I share this with you? No? No. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Sure. Well, before we start, I want to say thank you very much for being here. Welcome to another class here, class here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'm going to be with you for the next hour. All right? Um, what I was telling you guys is that, for example, if you say, my day was exhausted, and I tell you, welcome to my life, it means that that is something also common in life. Oh my God, yeah, oh, I, I, now I see. Exactly, so it's a good way in order for you to say, me too. Yeah. Was that. It's like a, the same situation for me, uh -huh. similar. Exactly, yeah. it's for the same situation. All right, so now I see more people, Hilberto's here, Evelyn, Maribel, Nidia, thank you very much. Just remember guys, remember, Let's try to keep the volume down, all right? If someone's watching TV, if someone's listening to us, we don't mind as long as it does not interrupt our class, okay? Okay, teacher. Very good. So, can anybody tell me what was yesterday's topic? Do you remember yesterday's topic? Uh, I remember that uh, we are talking about typical, typical person. Okay, uh, we were talking. Yeah. We, were talking. We, we were talking about if you are a typical person, and I don't remember more, but... <laughs> okay, yeah, pretty much it was a class where we were able to share a little bit of ourselves. So today we're going to do something super similar, but we're going to do it with expressions like keep and stay. All right? Okay. So, so we can get down to business that's another expression repeat it with me please let's get down to business let's get let's down get to business down. let's get down to business exactly so when we say let's get down to business is all right let's start whatever is it that we came here to do so for okay. example if you have a meeting you're gonna start by hey how are you oh good i'm doing great what about you blah 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 you start chatting about something else but when you're going to start talking about your objective, that's when you say, let's get down to business. Let's get down. Let's get start. Let's get down. Let me go ahead and write it down. To business. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let, let's get down to business. Mm -hmm. Get down. Can let's you down put it business. in the get chat, down. please? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's already there. Let's get down to business. So pretty much... Démosle, empecemos a hacer lo que venimos a hacer. Pongámonos serios. Okay. Démosle con okay. todo. Excellent, I got it. All right. So I'm going to try to do this every single time, guys. I'm going to try to give you expressions, vocabulary. I want to share my knowledge with you, okay? Okay, excellent. We really All appreciate right. that. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for, to help you out. So let's, let's get it started. Read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson no. objective. Everyone, everyone. Lesson objective. Okay. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Fantastic. Lesson objective. Uh -huh. In this class, participants will learn and practice using idioms with keep and stay. In this class, in this class, participants will learn and practice, learn and practice and using idioms, idioms with and keep and stay. and stay. Very good. Now. You may wonder why I do this, because I really can't pay attention to all of you at the same time. But all of these guys, these are muscles. Our tongue is a muscle, so we have to exercise it. That's why I ask everyone to try to repeat the same way I do it. All right? So, I need a volunteer. Let's see. Adrian, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, teacher. Thank you, Adrian. Help me out and read, please. In this class, Okay, in this class, participants will learn and practice idioms with keep and stay. All right, very good. I liked it. So in this one, let's go ahead and link it. 
with keep and stay all together with keep and stay with keep, keep and, and stay, stay. All, right. Keep and stay. <laughs> all right so we have a lot of questions for today guys so we should be another expression we should get this going we should get this going let me see if i can find the chat here here it is let's get this going down there you go all right let's go ahead and mute your microphones please and let's watch the video okay i'm gonna mute mine too Hello, the following expressions will help you express your ideas better. Stay connected, stay awake, keep up with, keep in touch. Expressions with keep and stay. Keep or stay in touch. Keep things in perspective. Stay awake. Keep up with. Keep or stay out of trouble. Keep something up. Keep or stay in touch. Keep on drinking. Keep on drinking. That's a good grammatic example. Grammatically. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so here, guys, I don't know if you paid attention to the beginning of the video. This is for us to show a better way on how to express yourself. Right. In advance, it's not much about grammar, but it's more about sharing ideas, expressing ourselves, ourselves, getting fluent. So this is why we learn a lot of vocabulary and we got to practice, practice, and practice. So say it with me, keep in touch. Keep, keep in, in touch. touch. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. Correct. Keep in touch. And stay in touch. Stay, stay in touch. touch. Mm -hmm. Stay in touch. What do you think keep in keep or stay in touch means? You can tell to me what it means. Keep the, the communication. The... Being in touch continuously. To keep in touch. Uh -huh. to, be, to be in touch continuously. To continue talking to that person. To be in contact. That's what in we would say in Spanish. All right? So, uh, but keep in and, and stay is the same meaning. Yep, that's right. Same thing. Potato, potato. Both are correct. Mm -hmm. That's another expression. If you want to, is that, is that the same? If it is the same, you can say potato, potato. It's just a pronunciation oh, okay. of papa in Spanish. But not papa religious, that's pope. Okay? So, <laughs> next one. Keep things in perspective. Say it with me, please. Keep, Keep things, things in perspective. In perspective. In perspective, correct. So uh, let me see, Evelyn, could you please repeat it? Keep things in perspective. In perspective, good pronunciation, very good. So what do you think keep things in perspective means, anybody? Uh, que, que get focus on something. Okay, so, so for you to focus on something, what else? Mm -hmm. Anybody else that would like to share? Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. understand by keep things in in perspective. You keep uh, the things uh, always in front of you. When you keep them in front of you, okay, you kind of have an idea. I mean, you are right, but I want to know mm. more ideas of you. Uh -huh. no, for me, it's the same to keep it focused on something. Mm -hmm. That's right, so pretty much, is when you focus on something, but also when you see like the whole picture, okay? For you to pay attention to everything. I don't know if you if you understand this one. Yeah. To look at the to look at the whole picture, all right? Perspective. Remember that is it makes reference to points of view. That's. So, mm -hmm. so when you say keep things in perspective. It's pretty much for you to try to see the whole picture. When you focus mm -hmm. not only in something in particular, but the whole thing. Okay? okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Give me an example, please, of uh, keep things in perspective. A sentence. Anybody? Um. Right now is where the hamster, meaning our brain, starts spinning and spinning and spinning. Here's where the organization of thoughts starts. 
Um, maybe an example, I don't know, but I'm trying to, to, to do this example. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, to have a different perspective about a problem, different perspective about a problem. Yeah, that's good, that's good. How do you say, no es tan, san, no es tan sencillo. Tenés que ver todos los puntos de vista. How can you say that in English? It's not easy, but you should have a different perspective. There you go. So we can say something like, it's not so simple, sencillo, right? How do you say no es tan sencillo? Not so not simple. So simple. So it's simple. not so simple. So, so easy. So keep things in perspective. You're pretty much giving an advice. All right? Repeat it with me, please. Keep things in perspective. Keep, keep things, things, things in perspective. Things in perspective. Mm -hmm. in perspective. And now my example. Look, it's not so simple, so keep things in perspective. It's so, so now so simple, it's so, so, so things in perspective. In perspective. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next one, stay awake in class. Stay awake, stay awake, awake in stay class. Stay awake in class. Stay awake, stay awake, class. In class. Mm -hmm. stay awake. Now, here we're just going to work with stay. All right, stay. just with stay. For What do you think is, is the meaning of stay awake in class? Uh, pay to put attention. attention. Pay to pay attention. attention. Mm -hmm. To pay Focus. attention. Always. Remember. Eyes open. Eyes open. That's right. It's not put attention. It's pay attention. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, when you say stay awake is mantente despierto. So, stay, we're going to use it for mantener. Now, Be here we, we can use many, many things. For example, how do you say eh, pone atención? Using this, using stay. Stay awake. Uh -huh. uh, in order, in order to get or the the subject, the, the object, to you should stay away in class. You should stay awake in class, or you can say, for example, stay focused. No es solamente mm -hmm. mantente concentrado, sino stay focused. Pone atención. Yeah. Right. Okay. So how do you say mantente fuerte? Strong. Be strong. Be strong. Stay strong. Stay. Stay strong. Stay, stay strong. Uh -huh. Aquí es donde vamos a ocupar el stay. No matter the problem, stay strong. There you go. Nice advice. Correct. So, how do you say mantente saludable? Keep healthy. Uh, stay Keep healthy. healthy. Stay healthy. Uh -huh. Keep healthy. Keep. Yes. Oh, Keep healthy. I What would recommend you to use stay healthy in this one. Okay. Oh. Because it's talking about an advice, right? Okay. Now, if you say keep running, for example, it's mantente o sigue corriendo, right? Keep running, de mantenerse, de continuar una acción. So you can continue an action. But stay is something different. It's like pon, está de tal manera. Stay focused, stay awake. Quédate abajo, stay down. No podemos down. decir keep down. Por eso para advice. So we can use advice. We're going to use stay. Is it clear? Okay. okay. Let's say that you are buying something downtown and a shootout starts. You know what a shootout is? Yeah. Uh, no? Shootout is when people is firing each other with firearms. Una balacera. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, shot fire, mm. shot fire. Uh -huh. So after a shootout, they will tell you, quédate abajo para que no se gane un balazo. ¿verdad? Nadie quiere un balazo. So, stay down. How do you say, quédate abajo, mantente abajo? Keep stay down. down. Stay, stay down. down. Vamos a ocupar stay. We're going to use stay. Stay down. Stay down. Are you following me on this one? Yes. yes. Stay is for bus. Ajá. That's right. Okay. So, remember, stay strong, mantente fuerte, stay down, quédate abajo. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, very good, very good. So, keep up, say it with me, keep up with. 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 Deal like? with something. Deal. 
Mm, it may have many different, many, many, many different. meanings. But this one, okay. hip hop, hip hop is mantener arriba, right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're doing something good, I can tell you, hey, keep up. Keep up with your effort. All right? Keep up with your English classes. Keep up, okay. keep up with uh, that good attitude, for example. If you're doing something good, they can tell you, keep up. It's for you to keep continue up. doing something good. So keep up. Mantenerlo arriba. Yeah, okay. it's, it's like you're motivating someone. Is it clear? Mm, I see that it's not so clear. Right now it's like Coca-Cola clear. So super dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This is the time where vocabulary starts hitting. Okay? So if you have any type of question, let me know. Hey, I really do not understand this. Keep up. It's to continue doing something, but normally... A high level. A high level. Correct. It has a positive meaning. Okay. So let's say that that you are in um, how do we say this? Lejitana, for example. Do you know what the Lejitana is? No. Lejitana. <laughs> no. no. Okay. So we have a very, very, very healthy group. Let's say that you like you <laughs> like drinking, right? Drink on Mondays. Uh, from <laughs> Monday and on. Let's say that you like drinking beers and you drink every single day. You are being irresponsible. All right. If I tell you, hey, keep up, I am being sarcastic. Es como continua así. But if you're drinking every day, obviously that's going to be sarcasm. How do you say sarcasm? Sarcasm. Sarcasm. And you make it vibe. Sarcasm. All right. So, for example, if you're doing your homework every day, if you are assistant to your classes, and then I can tell you, keep up. It's like, hey, continue. But continue doing this good thing. Do you understand me now? Yes, I got it. <laughs> Everybody? Yep. Yes. Oh, are you sure? Let me see. Nidia, you were saying so-so at the beginning. Do you yes. have it clearer now? No, I, I don't feel secure about it. Mm. Okay. No. There we go. Let's make it happen. Vaya, guys, en este el keep up es prácticamente para nosotros encourage, para nosotros motivar a alguien. Encourage. ¿Eh? Para nosotros decir, buen trabajo, seguí así. Keep up. Uh -huh. Keep up. Es como continuar haciendo algo up bien. Por eso yo les decía, si alguien anda en Zumba, que están tomando todos los días, y alguien le dice, hey, keep up, keep up, y le aplauden, es sarcasmo. Oh, dale, sí, así. Quiero ver cuando perdas tu casa, tu casa, tu familia, tu trabajo. Puro sarcasmo. Pero si ustedes están conectando todas las noches, si ustedes participan, están practicando su, su inglés o cualquier cosa positiva, yo les puedo decir, hey, keep up. Ah, como mantengan ese nivel. Es, es una frase sí. para motivar. Continuar haciendo algo generalmente en una tendencia positiva, algo bueno. Hola. Hoy sí, más o menos. Yes. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic. All clear, all clear. Um, si, y esto lo quiero hacer súper, súper claro. Si algo no entienden, yo estoy aquí para ayudarles. Pregunten, tengan la confianza que tuvo en idea de decirme, no entiendo muy bien. Y si no se puede en inglés, por tiempo, boom, español. ¿Ok? Thank you. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Eso va para todos. Si alguien no entiende, let me know. Next one, guys. So we can start practicing. Keep out. Keep out. Keep out. Keep out. Stay out. Stay out. Stay out. Stay out. Stay out. Mantenerse fuera de. What is the meaning of trouble? Oh, yeah. Trouble. 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 Right? So, how do you say mantente fuera de problemas? Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. Uh -huh. Or stay out of trouble. Correct. Keep out of trouble. Potato, potato. Stay out of trouble or stay out of trouble. keep out of trouble. Out of trouble. Mm -hmm. So keep out significa, what is the meaning of that? Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. <coughs> Good job. To stay away. And the next one, and what the, the how do you say penultimo? 
keep something up. Something up. How do you say penultimo? Mm. I don't know. Um, I Previous last one. <laughs> before the last. The one before ah, the last. Be the one, the one, before, one before the last. One before last. One before last. It's too long. <laughs> it's too long, but you can you can memorize it. So keep something up. All right. Keep something up. Like keep studying keep up. Something up. We go here. Right? It's the same as before. But in this case, I can tell you, hey, keep keep coming up. How do you say sigue keep viniendo? Coming up. Coming up. Keep coming up. Keep okay? coming up. Sigue estudiando. Keep, keep studying, studying up. up. Keep studying up. Keep studying studying up. up. Now, it's good to mention, guys, that keep, the verb keep. And I don't want to get in trouble because I'm going to say because I don't want to confuse people. But if you have keep, the next word, if it's an action, it's going to be in ing. You cannot say keep to study. That's incorrect. You say keep studying up. Okay? okay. Keep coming up. Keep working up. So every single verb after keep is going to be considered a gerund. ING. Mm -hmm. With ING. Is All after keep. keep. Yes. Every single one after keep. So, it's good to mention, guys, that there are verbs that are followed by infinitive. Okay? For example, yeah. I like to play. Infinitive. El tu más el verbo base. Mm -hmm. All right? There are verbs that are followed by infinitive. Like keep, avoid... I avoid running because I am fat, right? Um, then we have verbs like love that it doesn't really matter. It can be I love to play soccer or I love playing soccer. Okay? So, con esto, guys, no lo voy a tocar más porque no quiero crear confusión. Solo quiero que entiendan que existe eso. Por si les da curiosidad, lo busquen. Y que keep acá va a ir seguido de un gerundio toda la vida. Siempre. Right? So, keep el objeto up. It's going to be for you to continue doing something like the example I, I mentioned before. How, so, how do you say man, sigue levantándote temprano? Keep, keep getting up, up early. Keep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> keep getting up early or keep waking up early. Correct. All right, any questions with keep up with the subject in with the object in the middle? No. Mm -hmm. no? All right, and the last one, so we're gonna start working. We have a lot to do today. Well, it's the same as the beginning. Yeah, mm -hmm. how do you say mantente contacto? Keep in touch, keep in touch. Keep in touch. Stay in touch. Keep in touch, stay in touch. Very good. Let's pay attention to this and we finish the, the video. Take turns answering these questions. Type your answers on our discussion box. Then talk to your classmates in class. When friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch? When you're stressed, can you keep? All right, guys. So this is what we're gonna do, and here is where the conversation works. All right, when the conversation happens. Say with me. When friends move away. When friends move away. When friends move away do you keep or stay in touch? Do you keep, do you keep or, stay or stay in touch? In touch? Mm -hmm. Do you keep or stay in touch? Now, this is how it's gonna work, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm gonna be open. I'm gonna be open in the chat for four minutes. Okay, exactly four minutes. Four minutes or three minutes, we come back. So it's gonna be one question per turn. And you're going to be as, asking these questions to each other. When friends move away, do you keep in touch? Well, in my opinion, it really depends. I'm giving you an example, by the way. In my opinion, it really depends. If it's a good friend, yes, we keep in touch. We chat via WhatsApp, right? We try to see each other whenever we can. But if it's a person that is not really my friend, but someone I know, I don't keep in touch, right? So you have to explain. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. All right, guys. So, 
para asegurarme que está en claro, vamos a tener sesiones de tres minutos. Por pregunta, voy a abrir los break rooms, discuten esa pregunta y regresamos. Right. Siguiente pregunta. Otra vez break room. So, cuando les aparezca la petición para abandonar el break room, tratemos de hacerle clic inmediatamente para que todos estemos ya listos. No importa que no hayan terminado. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Any question? Ok. Nothing. All right, very good. So let's no, go ahead teacher. and open the break room if you want. Um, we're going to start with the first question. When friends move away, do you keep in touch? Go ahead and answer that question, please. I'm going to open the room right now. Ready? There we go. Please accept the invite. All right, little by little people is doing it. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. Julia, all right. We're just waiting for Gilberto. Maribel? Hi. Do you see the, the invite? No. Mm. no. All right, listen up. Listen up, in this case, I already reported it and they said that everything is fine with the, with the system, with the user, but they will keep on trying to see if there's any problem. But I can never get you in a group. Nunca le puedo mantener en un grupo. So, ¿qué está ocupando en la Mac? ¿Está ocupando Safari o está ocupando Mozilla? Oh, que se quedan, no sé, pero no puedo entrar de forma normal. Tengo que decirle entrar de forma normal. Maribel, tengo que poner ya antes de las tres, pero no sé cuál estoy usando. All right. Es Mozilla, ok. El, el, que no es este Google la okay. Google And um, el usuario que usted tiene, el usuario que usted tiene me dijo que no ¿Cómo? está, me dijo que no está ocupando el usuario que usted tiene, ¿verdad? Sino que está ocupando otro con su nombre. No, el usuario de, al entrar a, a, a inglés corporativo entra con mi nombre. Okay. Now, listen up. Right now, the conversation is breaking up real bad. Do me a favor. Text me via WhatsApp, uh -huh. please, so we can try to solve this. Escríbame por WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Voy a tratar de arreglarlo ahorita, si es posible. Uh -huh. Bye. All right. All right. Thank you. I'm going to be doing two things. I'm going to be helping you, and at the same time, I'm going to be trying to help the other person. The other people, okay? But, but for example... If if is if no if you don't have uh, any contact with professional, it, it's different. You know people that you you don't know. Yeah, it's not it's not important for your life. <laughs> oh yeah yeah. Hey teacher, we are talking about uh, uh, staying in touch with uh, professional in a professional. Uh, environment, you know, for example, in in in, uh, in a job. Okay, all right, that's good. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Make sure you know that you actually keep track of time. Okay, try to keep track okay. of time so you can both speak as much as you can. I'm gonna share okay. a link to the group so you can set up. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. All right, guys. So we are coming back. Now, in the meantime, Evelyn. Yes, yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. Yes. So let's go ahead okay. and I want you to answer the first question. When friends move away, do you stay in touch? Why? 
I really know because I am no friendly or a uh, social person. Okay. So okay. I, I just maintain contact with the person in my work uh, during the, the period of the work. Mm -hmm. But uh, out of the, the places or the activities, uh, I, I really don't have a contact with person. Okay. All right. Very good. I really like your answer. I consider that you provided a lot of a lot of details. I didn't find any grammar mistake. So congratulations. Well job. Well, good job. Good job. All right. Next one. Say it with me, please. When you are stressed. Say it with me, please. All of you guys. When you are stressed. When you are stressed. When you are stressed. When you are stressed. When you are stressed can you keep things in perspective? Can you, can you keep, keep things, things in perspective? In perspective? Mm -hmm. Well, in my opinion, guys, not all the time. I guess that that depends on your emotional intelligence. And uh, sometimes when you're really frustrated, it, it is very difficult, super, super difficult to keep things in perspective, to see the whole picture. But I always do my best because I know that is the best way to deal with difficult situations. All right. So in like 30 seconds, I gave you my answer. I have actually shared a link, the online stopwatch. You can also select there, for example, the countdown and you can select the time. I'm going to show you how to use it. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right, can you see what I'm doing? So, this is the link that I share with you guys, and we need to use it for the presentation, or you can use your cell phones, but I need you to keep track on this, all right? So, you click on countdown, you select, you can do it with your keyboard, con el teclado, or here, for example, three minutes, you click on set, clear if you make a mistake, so you can start all over then set and you click start all right so that lets you know that you have three minutes so you can talk and keep track of time as a matter of fact let's go ahead and set it in two minutes 30 seconds oops i made a mistake two minutes 30 seconds and then do it individually and when the time finishes you know that you have to come back to the main session okay okay all right very good so I'm going to be opening the break rooms again and we're going to work with the next question. The next question is, when you are stressed, can you keep things in perspective? Let's go ahead and go back to the break rooms. Accept the invite as fast as you can. Okay. All right, let's do it. Invite sent. Maribel, I'm going to be contacting you via WhatsApp, okay? I'm going to send you a voice note right now. Hi. Reynaldo, Federico, please go ahead and accept the invite so you can talk to your classmates. All right, I'm sending people to other rooms. All right, there we go. One moment. Reynaldo, if you can hear me, I'm sending you something. All right, he did. So, give me a second. Um, I'm going to text you right now, Marisol. One moment. bring uh, some pills to to maintain a uh, wake up in my work okay i when i was studying it was the civil war but i didn't um i didn't stay all night really i studied early 
so I don't have to um, lose my sleep. Right now, when I go to work, maybe I, I, I have a bad night, but my work is so... <laughs> How do you busy? Say? Yes, it's so busy and complicated and I don't know that I can, I go, oh, I'm going to fall asleep. But I, really, when you get there, you you get very alert for everything. You don't have the time to get sleepy. <laughs> yes. Just uh -huh. like when I came from a, a long trip and I have a jet lag, mm -hmm. jet one lag. day I, I, I really fall asleep on the oh, phone. Really? Yes. <laughs> Yes, by seconds, by I fall asleep in the phone. On the phone, you you yes. fall asleep yeah. on the phone. It's always on the phone. Fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was sad. Yes, yes. But after two weeks, I I get over the jet lag. So you travel abroad to countries with yes. a different time zone. Not so much, but I went to China. Oh, so in that case, yeah, it, that is jet lag. When you have yes. different time zones. All right. Make sure you participate always in those two and a half minutes. I'm going to break up. I'm going to go back to the main section session in a minute. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. So let's come back. Everyone should be coming back. In the meantime. Right now, can you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. All right, fantastic. So we're back on track. Now, Ricardo, do me a favor and please answer the question. When you are stressed, can you keep things in perspective? My God, it's, it's difficult, but I, I'm always trying to, to keep calm and trying to put my ideas in perspective too. Okay. To, I try to do my best effort in, in that situation, but it's complicated. All right. Good answer. Good answer. I like the fluency. Just remember the final sounds. Calm. Calm. Okay. You got to close your lips. Put your lips together. Calm. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Very good. Little by little. Just for this. So I'm going to open the rooms again. And remember to set the timer in 2 minutes, 30 seconds with the next question after studying all night or working all night i'm modifying it how do you stay awake in class or at work all right that will be the next question and you can start like this well guys after studying or working all night it's very difficult to stay awake the next day so what i do is that i i try to drink um an energy drink or I try mm -hmm. to drink some coffee. If I really can't stay awake, that helps me out. Otherwise, if I cannot drink any of those beverages, I try to do something that keeps me awake, mm -hmm. always related to work. So that's my experience, guys. I wanted to share. I'm going to open the, the break rooms again. Right? So okay. you can answer this question. Set the timer to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. After that, we come back. Okay? Okay. Right. There we go. Accept the invite, please. It's already there. All right, we're just missing Julia. Maribel, I'm going to hear your audio right now, okay? Yeah. All right, Mario and Federico. After starting at night, yeah. uh, how do you stay awake in class? What do you do in these cases? Uh, in, um, uh, I, I try to drink a cup of coffee or, I'm, or try to do something that keeps me doing something like think or or something that keeps me like uh, busy. And you? 
uh, for me, for me, it's, 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 it is hard <clears throat> because I I get a have sleep easy uh, when when I I have to 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 tire. It is it is hard to to get focus in classes or in a in a meeting at the office. Uh, what I what I usually do is to drink a coffee and keep keep the stand up because if I get if I keep uh, sit down, uh, sure sure I I gonna get asleep. Uh, two, two things. I think the the hardest. I think the the hardest day. The hardest days is when I when I feel I feel sleepy, and there is a there is not much work to do, and yes. you uh, and you are uh, you get bored sleepy and you have nothing to do, and there is awful. There is the hardest thing. That's the hardest day. Good job, yeah. Mario. Right? Yes. All right. That's the hardest thing. That's the hardest thing. That's yeah. very good. Yeah. And you feel, I think that, that was Federico, I think, bored. Yep. Bored. Right. Bored. Mm -hmm. So when you say, estoy aburrido, I am bored. The ending I'm sound bored. with the bored. It did. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. All right, bored. guys. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. okay. Let's go. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. So let's wait for... Let me wait for the other ones. Maribel, can you hear me? Yes. All right. So you can so you can participate while we fix the situation with you being in the group. I want to ask you this question. After studying all night or working, how do you stay awake the next day? Please answer that question. Um, okay. Uh, I was uh, talking up with Mario that the what I do is to drink a a coffee, a coffee, and keep keep a stand up, standing up. Okay, and you keep yourself standing up, standing up. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a really really good way of doing it. Alrighty, we'll go straight to the next question. Do you ask for help if it's hard to keep up with something? I am modifying it, not just with the class. It can be at work, it can be in your house. Do you ask for help if it's hard to keep up with something? My answer is the following. If it's something that I consider other people can help me, then yes, I ask for help. If I feel that I cannot do it alone, yes, I do it. But if I know that, if I know that it's hard, but it's possible because I know how to do it, I do it myself because I really love challenges. I really love to work hard. That's my answer, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and go back to the break rooms and answer this question. Ready? Okay. There we go. Ready? We're ready. Okay. Set your timers. Two minutes, 30 seconds from now, go. Accept the invite, please. Okay. Everybody should be getting it right now. All right, we're just missing Mario. There we go. Let me check this group. If it is hard to keep up with a class. Well, let's see, at work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my case, I usually try to do the things by myself. But if I can, I do look for help okay. if I think the other person can help me, you know? Mm -hmm. In my case, it's um, the same. I try to do the things that they give me, but I, 
I told to my boss, you put so much in me, on me, because I was on vacation. On and they, okay. they make me, they made me do things during my vacations because they were working in a project. So mm -hmm. I, I told him, you put a lot on me. You so, are, you can say you are putting a lot of weight on my shoulders. Me estás poniendo mucho peso en mis hombros. You're putting yes. a lot of weight on my shoulders. So say yes. it please. And I told him, you're putting a lot of weight on my shoulders. Yeah, you're putting a lot of weight. Weight. weight on my shoulders mm -hmm. yes i'm gonna write it down yes. in the main group and right. that's the right. first time i i how do you say quejarte complain i i the first time i complained to my boss mm -hmm. in nine years really okay but I, I really feel it's like an abuse of me i i really thought or or if you still think i really think they are abusing Yes. Okay, fantastic. We got 20 seconds. Next person, if, if you haven't spoken, the three of you, next person, we got 20 seconds. Did, did the three of you spoke? Vanessa, no. Evelyn, and Nidia? Me, no. <laughs> I try to resolve the troubles by me, but sometimes... By myself. I, by myself. By myself. But... Sometimes um, I ask for help to my boss okay. because uh, she has more experience Good job. and 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 she is no, it's more intelligent by me. She's oh, oh, not. To me. not she's not more intelligent than me. She is than not, me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But uh, because I, I think we have a different um, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, don't, don't worry. Know. Don't worry, this happens. It's vocabulary. That's what we are practicing. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. okay. Alrighty, so thank you for coming back. Let's go ahead and work with the last one. And I want to choose, let me see, someone I haven't asked. Nidia. Can you hear me, Nidia? Yes. All right, please answer this question. Do you ask for help if it's hard to keep up with something? Um, usually, I don't, but... Um, as I was saying in the group, mm -hmm. uh, I've, I was on vacation and my boss asked me to do something and I complained with him because mm -hmm. can I... Say, sorry to interrupt. And I complained. That's it. And I, I complained. I complained mm -hmm. with him because he was putting a lot of weight on my shoulders. Fantastic, nice expression, there we go. Oh. All righty guys, we're gonna do the last one, okay? And the question will be, do you break the rules or do you stay out of trouble? Well, in my case, I try to stay out of trouble, but listen, if you have to break the rules and you're not hurting anybody, then I might, I might as well do it if it's something that is gonna bring a lot of benefits for me and my family. But don't worry, nothing illegal. <laughs> Uh, small mm. things. All right, guys. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Accept the invite. And this is the last question. Let's rock it. Let's do it. There we go. So, send. Invite sent. Please accept it. Okay. Hi, Ricardo. Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello again. Ricardo, do me a favor. Uh, tell me, tell me. Do not accept the invite. Work with Maribel here in the main chat, please. Oh, that's oh, how. Okay, come I, okay. How come I didn't come up with this previously? Maribel, please work with Ricardo. Thank you, Rick. Okay, okay, okay. excellent. All right, I'm going to stay here. What's, what's the, the question, teacher? 
The question would be, do you break the rules or do you stay out of trouble? In my case, I, I in my case, in, in my job is strictly always keep out of trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? I got Amer America um, um, because American American people is uh, very how do you say disciplinado? Disciplined, strict. Disci yeah, disciplined and a strict person. You know, uh, especially army men and army army girls. Military, the military. Yeah, mil yeah military, and I always try to to keep out of of trouble. Okay, good job. So you work for four GS? Yeah, I work okay. in G four S. Yeah. Oh, that one, that one. Sorry, <laughs> I was close. Yeah. Yeah, I have met a lot of people from. G4S, right? Yeah, G4S is a, a great company. Oh, fantastic. All right. Yeah. Maribel, your turn. You have one minute to answer the question. Okay. It's about uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, we say out a problem because uh, we are Line is breaking up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> de, 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 de. It's a problem, right? I think all of us have a problem. Sometimes we are afraid of problems, but maybe sometimes we are, we say, we say, we say, we say, we say, we say, we all right. Stay out of problem, but the out of trouble. That, that's the expression. Mm -hmm. Not problem, trouble. Your line, I your line is, out. your line is yeah. breaking up a lot, Maribel. <laughs> Maybe uh, the, the internet, yeah, it doesn't I, work. But I love just having fun and participate. So thank you very much, Maribel. All righty, guys. So okay. thank you, Maribel, for your participation. Thank you all, guys, for your participation. And uh, I do want to assign homework to you. We are still missing two more questions okay so what okay. can students do to keep their grades up I want to change this what can you do to keep um, your good attitude what can you do to keep you know your a good job let's go ahead and change it it is important for all friends to keep in touch that's a good question so homework guys I wanted to answer those two questions and send them via WhatsApp as an audio, but okay. short answers, 30 seconds each, but I wanted to practice in front of the mirror before you send it. Uh, are you gonna put the, the, the answer in the in the chat? No, no, that's your answer. Necesita no, que usted... the, no, no, the, the question. question. The question. The, question. The, 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 question. Question. the last two questions will be. Yes, in the chat. In the chat, please. Mm, okay. okay, let me try to put it here. Now, while I finish, guys, or while I text this, I really hope that you have liked the uh, methodology that I'm using, as well as this is about conversation. I'm going to be visiting, I'm going to be opening rooms for you to talk for a certain amount of time so we can be productive. I'm going to check your progress, and when we come back, I'm going to ask for one person to say, to say it to the whole group, okay? So okay. this way you can, you can practice. If you liked it, Go ahead and tell your other classmates to join the group so they can take advantage of this type of methodology. All right? So, All right. Um, let me try to type this. I'm doing different times at the same time here. The chat, the chat, here it is. What can you do to keep a good job? Not to keep doing good things. I'm changing it. And the last one, is it important 
for old friends to stay in touch. All right, so you have the two questions right there, homework. I wanted to please record it 30 seconds each at the most, no more than that. Practice in front of the mirror and then you say,